grow, money trees grow. Look at my bamboos today. We're harvesting bamboos. And I'm going to show you how to clean them up. One just fell on the ground. Look at these big old giant sweet bamboos. This is a uh, Philostocky Vizix or Vizix. American sweet bamboos. So we're going to teach you how to clean it. Okay, you cut the end off. Oh, bam. Like that. Cut the head off. Okay. You don't want to cut it too deep, but this right here is kind of tough. So you got to cut it right around. Right you can take your knife. And just... Again, like that, and you just peel away. See? You get all the tough skin off. Then you take your knife and then you skin it because the skin's got like a waxy substance in it to protect it or cyanide. So you skin it like that. you go you skinned it got all the waxy substance off and this is what it looks like right here and then you cut it up to size so you can boil it and stuff like that you can split it in half and then you can it or you cook it and eat it just like that ba bam yummy yummy in my tummy fresh sweet bamboos oh yeah my aunt hooked me up with all these cannon jars these uh pint size or whatever half quart jars now i'm going to show y'all how to can bamboo shoots yeah thumb on my cup boiling bamboo shoots yeah i'm going to can these guys and i'm going to show y'all how to do it there you go once you got them cooked you change the water rinse them off a couple times and then you put new water in the pot and you bring it back to the boil for about 15 to 20 minutes to kill everything in there all the yeast bugs or whatever and now you put them in the jars after you rinsed your bottles out with hot water. Now once you get all your bottles filled, you're going to put it in a pot and add hot water. Now you boil your water to add to the bottles. Them all filled up. You got your hot water boiling. So you add the hot water. You fill them all up to the top, to the rim. It's okay, you overflow. Okay, well anyways, here's a, you just fill them all up. <laughs> now that y'all got them all filled up with hot water, you're gonna put your lid on. You're gonna put your lid on. Just like that. Oh, that went south. Fuck. Anyways, you put your lid on. Like that. And you just close them, but not tight. Just like that. Now that you got all your lids on there, like I said, you don't want them tight. You just want them loose because it's going to pressurize inside that bottle right there. So what you want to do is you want to wait till the water boils inside the bottle itself. But you don't want too much water in your pot because you want to use the steam to cook it. The steam contains like 530 something thousand plus heat calories. Whereas in boiling water only contains 101 heat calories. It's all about science. But steam is hotter. That's the reason why steam burns you. And you can stick your finger in boiling water like that. And it doesn't burn you. Because it only contains 100 calories of heat injury. Okay, here we go. This is the final stage right here. Once you see the water boiling inside the bottle there. Like right there. You can see it. Now you're going to close the top all the way. Ow, shit, that's hot. And then you take them out. Now that you got out, you can see they're still boiling inside there. So you close the top down tight and you wait for them to condense or cool down. And when they cool down, the button right there will pop in. It'll vacuum and it'll seal it. And if it goes bad, the button will pop up. So that's how you know. <laughs>